I'm really starting to fear for my own safety. On the last episode of our show, I nearly got hit when Father Giles mistook the brake pedal for the gas pedal. Whoa, whoa. And before that, I was in the Rolls Royce with Angelina when she nearly flipped it over. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god! That was the worst thing ever! Good thing I have a strong head on my shoulders, because in this episode, we're going to be focusing on higher speed skills, which frankly is quite scary, because in this rehab center, you never really know where the next hit is coming from. This is Canada's worst driver. This year, the Rehab Centre welcomed eight nominees for Canada's Worst Driver, and two of them have already graduated. To determine our next graduate, the six remaining candidates will spend this episode each going through three more motoring challenges. Whoever's best can go home. The folks determining who's best are our experts. We've got traffic reporter and former highway cop, Cam Woolley, car racer and psychologist, Dr. Luisa Gambora, our instructor of basic skills is Peter Mellor, and as always, our high performance teacher is Philippe Laterno. Hmm. Commuting used to only be about getting yourself to work. Nowadays, though, people work while they commute. You got phone calls in your ear, you got emails on a little handheld device, you've even got computer monitors in the dashboard. Cars are not desks, people! I'm just gonna, gonna write myself a little note of that, actually. To demonstrate why doing other things other than driving is dangerous while you're behind the wheel, the next demonstration for Canada's worst drivers is to do things like drink coffee while motoring. Do we get it? I think we got it. Mike Butt will be the first bad driver to sit in this classic AMC Marlin. This is 66 and it's got power steering. I didn't even know power steering was invented back then. So this particular exercise is not so much a challenge as it is a demonstration of the impact of distraction. What do you do that distracts you while you drive? Um, check out chicks mostly. That's, that's my biggest distraction. At home in Regina. Oh, there's a blondie. Mike was nominated for Canada's Worst Driver by Jody, his brother-in-law. He does what he wants, goes where he wants, and he doesn't care if anyone has any particular problem with it. Behind the wheel, Mike talks on his cell phone. Oh. He fumbles with food. Oh. And he ogles women. She's not wearing nothing sexy, though. Here at our rehab center distraction course, Mike's trying to find a sandwich instead of looking at the approaching wall. Six. Second I look behind me. Oh, you're all right, man. That whacked you in the head. The British Columbian government recently released some frightening statistics on distracted driving. Man, I'm totally bombing this. According to the BC office of the Superintendent of Motor Vehicles, distracted driving... Ah, hell. 
causes 25% of the province's traumatic car accidents. I don't even have a wrapper off this yet. That means 1,400 British Columbians per year are hospitalized because of drivers fumbling with musical devices. Which one is that? Drivers dealing with drink bottles. And drivers trying to read anything from maps to magazines. Hey, that's a nice frickin' Corvette. All in all, the report says 117 British Columbians die annually because of distracted driving. This is proving a hell of a point, man. Now it's time for the most dangerous piece of driving Mike has ever attempted. It's time for my makeover. Lipstick application. I look like that lady that wanders around downtown. <laughs> You're going. That's freaking to do that, Mac. Downtown Mike has learned his lesson. I promise that I will only check out chicks at red lights. From Charlottetown. The next candidate, Jacob, was nominated by Stacy, his girlfriend. What the f is the breaking for? On the roads of PEI, Hello? Jacob is a cell phone talker. What's going on? A girl watcher. I wasn't even doing anything. And. Didn't he also say that he hit a curb and blew a tire because he was changing a CD? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. On our distracted driving course. Oh. Ah! Jacob should get an understanding of how dangerous his habits are. I have to find the worst driver CD here. Oh, is this what you do all the time? Yeah, this, this is what I do all the time. Constantly going through CDs. I'm gonna find the right one. Whoa! Whoa! Ah. Oh my As for putting on makeup while driving, nothing out of the ordinary here. This punker could be a real fashion victim. Do my hair, I guess. Oof. We see people doing personal grooming, whether right. it's men shaving, ladies plucking their eyebrows. You can't drive if you're doing that stuff. And it's definitely dangerous. If you're in Charlottetown... <laughs> give me a kiss. Call us if you ever see Jacob eating while driving. From now on, I'll be parking in the drive through like, parking lot, and probably eat the burger there. In Windsor, Ontario... University student Santa realized her academic husband, Arun, might be Canada's worst driver because whenever he gets a coffee, his speed drops below 40k an hour. You think you can drive so casually? I mean, there are certain rules you have to follow when you're driving. Okay. This mechanical engineering student also slows down for conversations. Hello? Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's good. Keep driving. Uh... At the rehab center... Hello, yeah. Arun is driving less than 20K an hour. Arun, talk to me, buddy. Why are you driving so slow? Because when I talk on the phone, I drive very slow. <laughs> Arun doesn't realize that going slower doesn't make him a better driver. This is how you drink coffee, Arun, so you should know how to do this. No one drives well looking for a sandwich. Sana. There's a lipstick here. I don't see a sandwich. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What exactly does Arun see? Seriously didn't see that. Like, did I hurt anything? When we come back, oh. the distracted driving demonstration continues.
Canada's worst drivers are learning just how dangerous it is to drive distracted. I can't even... Six. Angelina from Sudbury is the next bad driver. Wait, my phone's ringing. Before Angelina begins her non-distracted test lap... Hi, Mom, what are you doing? She's distracted by a real call. Oh, hi, okay. At home in Sudbury... Christine nominated Angelina as Canada's worst driver because Angelina is constantly distracted. Whoa! Today's the time I went in the other lane. Oh, I wasn't watching. Watch the road! I'm exhausted. I'm trying to do something. Teamwork, teamwork. Okay. While driving, Angelina likes to talk on the phone. Oh. Hi. And apply lip gloss and text and put on foundation and eat and spray her hair and drink and add more spray and cry and then reattach her lashes. I'm a multitasker. On the rehab oh, center's distracted God. driving course. Uh, oh, 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 Sorry! Man. Angelina takes another real phone call. This one's from her boyfriend, Andy. Oh, hi, Andy. I'm driving on a super course. Oh, can I have a drink of that? Ah. Oh, my God! Does she know what distraction actually means? I, I don't think so. What are you doing? What are you up to? This is probably the worst example I've ever seen of distracted driving. She's doing nothing right. Oh. We're stopping, Angelina. Because she blew a tire. You didn't even notice that your tire blew? No. I don't, I've never blown a tire before. My soul's in Oh, lipstick. In Richmond, Ontario, Father Giles was nominated as Canada's worst driver by Guy. His brother. He enjoys watching the fields, the animals, the flowers. But look at that car. Look at the trees. Oh, look at those beautiful flowers. This excruciatingly distracted driver gives most of his focus to God. Especially when I drive, it's quiet, it's relaxing. And yeah, I've got lots of time to meditate and to pray. Father Giles doesn't get distracted by arguing while driving. I'm not going to put on lipstick. He prefers to turn the other cheek. Oh, I found the damn lipstick. How women put on makeup baffles Father Giles. I don't know how they do it. At her home... In Windsor, Ontario, Crystal was nominated as Canada's worst driver by Teresa and a whole lot of other people. I think uh, four or five people nominated me for More the like show. More like eight or nine. Crystal's nominators know that this smoking, texting, eating, drinking, workaholic... Hello. ...is on her phone too much. Oh, uh, yeah. How many accidents have you had that relate to your phone? Oh... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Um, I don't know. Maybe the maybe a couple. At our rehab center, oh. Crystal is on the phone, oh. and she's out of control. Resend. <laughs> Crystal has a sense of entitlement that she can eat and drink and talk on the phone while she's driving, and she's just plain wrong. Talking on the phone or smoking a cigarette isn't that bad. Smoking kills. <laughs> but Crystal doesn't like hearing that. I need to fix my concentration and my uh, doing things while I drive. Oh, look! It's the four-way intersection of uncertainty. If... Two cars show up at a four-way stop at exactly the same instant. Like this, which one of them is allowed to go first? Hmm? The answer, of course, 
is the car on the right. The car on the right always has the right. The next challenge for Canada's worst drivers is to show us how much they know about the rules of the road. Hey, pressure, pressure, no, pressure! Crystal, two cars arrive at a four-way intersection at exactly the same time. Show me what should happen. They're both here, and then he goes. From the perspective of both drivers, this is the car on the right. I would let this guy go forward, and I would go forward. If it was me, I would just communicate with the other person and see if he's in a hurry. Otherwise, I would just go. You're driving along a highway at 100 kilometers an hour in the right lane, and up ahead on the shoulder, you see an emergency vehicle with its lights flashing. Show me what you should do. I'm not quite sure. I might stop here, like this, and then I might go, like this. The correct thing to do is slow down and safely change lanes. Oops, sorry, no. <laughs> the lanes merge into one. One car in this lane, one in that. Show me what should happen. The driver with the full lane should maintain their speed, while the other vehicle should yield and fall behind. That's what I do. That ain't driving behind no This one should slow down somewhat to let this, to let this guy go in. What should you do at a flashing yellow light? Flashing yellow light. A flashing yellow light? A flashing yellow light. Turn the f around because I've never seen a flashing yellow light before. What should Angelina do if she's behind a slow car in a lane with one yellow line? Awesome. I'll just cut across, go here, and then go back here and go ahead. Signal, and I pull around. The next question is how to take a left turn through a large intersection. Which lane would you go into here? Almost everyone was clear. I'll just turn right into the right lane. I turn into the lane closest to this side. Jacob does the best on this test, scoring 7 out of 10. Angelina gets four out of ten. Whatever, I don't play a stupid game anyway. But the worst is Mike. Three out of ten. Three? Crap. It's like 30 percent. After the break, we teach the bad drivers how to deal with a rear-end skid. If you're thinking about buying a new car... Please don't get a vehicle that's more powerful than you can handle! Sports cars are pushed by spinning rear wheels. And if you give them too much gas, you'll create a rear-end skid. Learning how to control a rear-end skid is the next challenge for Canada's worst drivers. Or to be a little bit more specific, we're actually going to teach them how to do donuts in a Corvette. And we're not teaching your granddad's donuts either. These are drifting donuts. What does this teach people, Philippe? Well, obviously, a common mistake when people get into a rear wheel skid is that they will look towards the skid where the car is going instead of pointing their eyes where the car should be going. First to learn where he should be looking is Mike Butt. Mike looks where he's headed and doesn't steer, causing a spin-out. Okay. That was awesome. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you to counter-steer the other way. Watch Philippe's demonstration again. The front wheels are pointed to the left to get going. But as Philippe loses traction, he turns to the right while continuing to drift the same way. Counter-steering. The only way you're able to counter steer properly is to keep looking where you want the car to go. This time, Mike floors it 
but still pivots because his wheels are going too fast. Foot was still on the floor all the way through. Yeah. So as soon as the car starts to get loose, you're going to need to feather the throttle. Feathering on and off the throttle. Counter steer. And looking where he wants to go. Yes, keep going. Puts Mike in control of his drifting rear end. That's awesome. Up for the challenge? I'm up for the challenge. Definitely nice. up for the challenge. The donut challenge! The challenge is to do one drifting donut around our delicious looking donut. How many attempts? How many attempts? My money is on uh, maybe two at the absolute worst. Getting this done in two attempts would definitely be impressive. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, well, all right. That's his first attempt. Maybe I was a little too cocky when I said it was only going to take me two attempts. Attempt number two involves spinning out clockwise and then counterclockwise. Oh, whoa, whoa. I killed the donut, man! Killing the donut has also killed Mike's confidence. He's now pulsing on the gas, never holding it down long enough to create a rear end skid. I'm just doing tight circles, aren't I? <laughs> I don't understand it, man. I was doing a great. It's easy to do great when nothing's at stake, but when the pressure's on, Mike can't perform. Mike is done without doing a donut. But what's really cheesing me off is I was doing it during practice. I'll show you how it's done. So I'm just going to go around a few times to get a feel of this. I learned to do a drifting donut three years ago right here at the rehab center. I jam it. There's the back tire. Let's go. Look at that. All the way around. Ooh, so close. I got greedy. I got three quarters of the way through it and thought that I had it. Okay. All right, my second attempt. Now I'm coming around. I'm counter steering. Everything is going right. There's the hole. Get out of there. Woo! Yeah. And that's how you do a donut ugly style. Yeesh. One of the nominees should do a better donut than that. Father Giles nailed his lesson with Philippe. That's what happens when you learn from the best. But now that he's on the course, the priest is listening to incorrect advice from his brother. Stay on the gas. Don't stop it. It'll spin and spin and spin. Staying full on the gas makes Father Giles spin out of control. But time after time, this born-again lead foot floors it, then tries to push it through the floor. As a result, he consistently whips past the point of no return. Just let it spin. So keep on stepping on the gas. Let it spin. After 40 over-accelerated attempts... Oh, the course. Father Giles is done. Outside the parish, I won't be doing donuts with, uh, with the minivan. Crystal's nominator is... You're very petrified. nervous. I'm scared. You could be nervous, but you didn't watch me do it over there. On Crystal's first attempt, she stares at the donut. Oh! Oh! oh, that's not what Philippe taught me. Philippe taught Crystal to keep her eyes where she wants to go. On the donut. Keep your eyes on the donut. Keep your eyes on the donut. Looking at the donut draws Crystal to the donut. Oh. Oh. What draws Crystal to the wall 
is something only she knows. I am just totally... This used to be the best car on the lot. It is not. It's This car is rigged. Crystal never believes she's at fault. I think the car but was rigged, but... She thinks the car was rigged, but the car wasn't rigged. After the break, more donuts. Then, it's our annual smooth driving challenge. The nominees for Canada's Worst Driver have been getting better and better. So we've taken the ambitious step of teaching them how to do donuts. But maybe our plan was too ambitious. Oh, whoa, whoa. I killed the donut, man! Angelina is next to learn how to make a drifting donut. Oh my God. But our expert, Philippe, might be going a little too fast for her. Oh my god, I think I'm going to throw up. You think you could do this? No, I don't know. That's so scary. Facing fears... Oh, whoa. All right, here I go. ...is part of rehabilitation. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I'm going to throw up. Ah, I can't do it, I can't do it. The amazing thing is... Angelina's doing well. Stay on the gas, 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 stay on the gas. Wow. Oh my god. You did it. You think you'll do well for your challenge now? Right, man. The challenge is one drifting donut around our donut. How'd you do? I did great actually. Really? Yeah, it's a donut. We went 110 kilometers an hour in a circle. Any Dumbass could do that. Any dumb person could run into the donut. Oh, no, 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 no. Trying to drift around the pastry. Oh, yeah, let's rock and roll. Angelina's forgotten her lesson. Oh, oh no, not the donut. Ah, the box, the box. Oh. I can't remember what he said. I can't remember what he meant. I can't remember how to. Oh, oh oops. Driving the other direction. Oh, all the way down. Doesn't help. This is a lesson that could save your life. If your car starts to slide, you gotta look where you wanna go. Oh, I'm doing it! Oh, ah! Okay, no, yeah, you're just, ah! just steer, oh, steer, steer. Ah! Oh, oh, Angelina oh, oh. blows 38 attempts and then a tire. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Punk Rock Jacob is next. This is going to be no problem. If only the skill level of Jacob was as high as his confidence level. Whoa. I'm just gonna close my eyes. Stacy has witnessed Jacob's crashing firsthand. Oh. So it's pretty easy to see why she wouldn't want to watch this. Jacob isn't doing a drifting donut because he's flooring it and leaving it floored. Leaving it floored means the wheels are accelerating until they spin over 160 kilometers an hour instead of leveling out at around 90k an hour. I'm getting frustrated. When Jacob is frustrated, he's dangerous. Jacob's crummy result is a healthy reality check. I thought I was ready to graduate, and now I don't even know. I may be sticking around longer than I thought I was. Arun has failed six of the last seven challenges. I'm hoping that this one goes good. It doesn't. I cannot do this. Arun's right. He can't do this. Oh, 
crashing the whole place? I don't think we can do this. I don't get it. He does get a tire. Huh, I give up, man. I cannot. Canada's worst drivers clearly weren't ready for this challenge. The worst driving ever. The worst. If you're a fan of Canada's Worst Driver, there are some challenges that you just know are going to happen. And this next challenge is one of them. To show our students just how herky-jerky their vehicle handling is, it's time for... the water tank challenge. And if I look nervous, it's because I fear that I'm about to take a bath. For the water tank challenge this year, we're using the Rolls-Royce. That Rolls Royce is a smooth, comfortable car to drive. It's this is really should be an easy challenge. All right, this course starts with hey, with 200 liters of water on the roof, and that's why I'm driving slowly. The water on the roof will pour into the vehicle if drivers get it sloshing with fast stops and starts. So I'm stopping slowly, and I start. Slowly. And quickly, I'm in the precision steering section. Piece of cake. This is actually nice and wide. But then the course narrows. I predict some frustrated people around here. Holy moly, this is tight. Oh, you need to butter up the vehicle to get through here. After the tight section, is the speed component. We're asking drivers to get up to 30k an hour on this straightaway. A smooth acceleration moves all the water to the back of the tank and holds it there until I slow down. After the straightaway, there's a steel corral that leads to a final reverse where drivers have to hit 20k an hour. I have a bad feeling about this, but I'm just gonna try it. So here we go. I'm lined up, I'm accelerating. I'm gonna... And I reach 20. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm surprised, that was easier than I thought. On this course, I did pretty good. And if this is pretty good, I hate to see how Canada's worst drivers will do. Arun starts with a lurch. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa. Okay, okay, you have to learn how to brake smoothly. Teaching smooth braking is why we put this stop sign here. Straight through the stop sign. And straight through the rim. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Alan, are you watching when you're driving? I'm driving with one eye. I can't drive in the rain. Arun can't drive in the sunshine either. He's just destroying the course. Oh my god. I cannot see. I cannot see anything. Whenever you can't see, you really should stop. Rehab is a long road for a rune. I still have a lot of work to do. Yeah, you do. Father Giles is next to see the water car. Uh, uh, uh. But he doesn't see the hidden car. Uh, uh. Father Giles is wet, but he's not freaking out. Good, wonderful day. It's a nice little drive. And as a result. Uh. 
he's not hitting anything. Wait, let's go very slowly. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually a good run. On the straightaway, Father Giles accelerates smoothly, uh, but brakes too suddenly. Don't step oh, on the brake! Don't step on the brake! Oh, the brakes are out of me! Holy smokes! The brakes are out of me! Oh, holy doodle! Holy doodle! Indeed. I think I think it went relatively well. <laughs> After the break, ah! Ah! more water tank challenge. Oh my God! Ah! Canada's worst drivers are going through. Watch out! Our annual water tank challenge to see just how herky jerky their driving is. Holy smokes! Uh, uh. Crystal pulses on the pedals when she drives. Uh, uh. You know when you do the uh, uh, don't yeah. do that here. Uh, uh. But uh huh, she does it. No, see what you're doing? What? Yeah. See what you're doing? Oh, oh what? Ah! Now that she's distracted, Crystal's missing stop signs. I know! Stop! Stop, stop, stop the car! Ah, stop! And she keeps pulsing the gas. Stop, stop doing that! Stop doing what? Driving? Ah, my God! On the final reverse... Okay, my hand ready? on the steering wheel. Yes. And then... Yes. Crystal has almost no water in the tank and absolutely no reality in her perception. That wasn't bad. Oh. oh. Crystal is a lurchy driver. She drives like this. And your eyes like this. Angelina has the same problem. She's, like, very hard on the pedals, but she has this, like... This, uh, uh, uh. So when you drive yeah. her, you get nauseous. How do I put it in drive? Oh, oh, is it a drive? Oh, 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 I'm terrified! Don't, just drive gentle and it won't happen. I'd like to tell you that the point of this challenge is really soaking in for Angelina. This is about your focusing issues. I know! But I'm starting to worry that Angelina's incapable of good focus. Ah, 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 ah. On the final reverse. Is this reverse? Push it to the floor. Oh, that's not reverse, sorry. Angelina sinks completely. Watch where you're going. Ah! Oh, hit the oh, floor! Oh, oh. Angelina won't be graduating this episode. Did I win? Jacob is next in the Rolls Royce. I hate this car. Every time I'm in this car, things happen. Something's about to happen in three seconds. When Jacob gets angry, yeah. <laughs> he focuses on his rage instead of his driving. Ah, oh, shut up. On the straightaway, Jacob goes too fast, which is fine for a while. Oh. On Jacob's final reverse, He doesn't watch where he's going. Whoops. And Jacob doesn't drive within his skill level. I was one of the fastest, but one of the most destructive. Mike Butt knows this challenge. 
all about the smoothness. Mike doesn't look smooth when he looks away from the road. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh! This is rapidly turning into a wet t-shirt contest. I've never been on this end of a wet t-shirt contest! Ah! Oh man! I'm totally... Ah, hell! In the precision steering section, Mike's a disaster. Oh, I was doing so good. <laughs> On the forward straightaway, <laughs> Mike is drowning. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> and on the reverse straightaway, oh, he's a, I don't want to hit the concrete. Oh, no! <laughs> Mike is mercifully done. Oh, that was terrible. That was. Oh. After the break, the nominees tell us why they deserve to graduate. Do you want to graduate or do you want to spend more time in rehab? When Arun showed up in rehab, he knew how bad he was. I could possibly be the Canada's worst driver. But the rest of the drivers were downright deluded about their skills. I'm not Canada's worst driver. Well, I'm not going to be Canada's worst driver. I am not Canada's worst driver. I am not Canada's worst driver. Angelina probably is, though. I can't even think about being Canada's worst driver because it's just unfathomable. During this episode, <laughs> everyone failed the donut challenge <laughs> and the smooth driving challenge. <laughs> And that has made everyone rethink their skill level. Do you deserve to graduate this episode? Truthfully, um, it would probably be one of the dumbest things if I graduated. It really would be. No, I don't think I don't think I deserve to graduate. After the last two challenges, um, I don't think so. I think I should probably stay, and I think I would benefit from staying. I'd like to stay. Do you deserve to graduate? No. Mm, I guess not. No. No. I'm just scared I drive really bad. Really bad. So, end of episode four. Six people all itching to go. Or not, actually. Usually they're itching to go, and this time there's six people here, and they all want to stay. They have insight. They do, into their own flaws. That's right. So... Let's just go down the short list. Who do we want to graduate this episode? Cam's vote is for Father Giles. Is he safe enough to be on the roads? Oh, I, th I think he is. He's picked up his speed. When I look at this week's challenges, he did them all well. Donuts, not so hot. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not the <laughs> <Yeah>. donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Father Giles might be the best of the worst. But is that good enough to go back onto public roads? Demolish of the course. I think we should keep them all. I agree. I think we should keep them all. I think it would be irresponsible of us to actually graduate anybody. Well, I think Father Giles is ready to go in spite of the fact that he says he wants to stay. I think that's just his careful personality. I, I think he's ready to graduate. We've reached the halfway point of our series, the end of episode four, which means it's time for one more of these bad motorists to graduate and go home. For the first time ever in the entire history of the Driver Rehabilitation Center, not one person said they deserve to graduate. And even more shockingly, not one of you said you wanted to graduate. Father Giles, that means you're all sticking around. No one graduates. <laughs> oh, no. These six people are in denial no more. Apparently, they all realize they might be Canada's worst driver. Oh. 
on the next episode of Canada's Worst Driver. Ears, signal, shoulder. We've got a safe lane changing challenge. You've been driving in the middle of the lane. A nighttime challenge on public roads. It's 50. Yeah, it's 50. Holy shit, I was going 110. And a high speed handbrake. <laughs> Turnaround challenge. Holy doodle.